Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be opening up a package that I've received from Baiyi. Um, this package was one of my holy grails ever since I started to collect pull-up dolls. And I was searching up on Japan Makari one day, saw, saw her for, I say an okay price. It's not the best price, but I had a coupon and I think it was okayly worth it like it was halfway to worth it just because she did come with some problems but you'll see later on this is past me opening up the package since i wouldn't have to do a voiceover if the audio wasn't so bad <laughs> uh hopefully you don't hear my dog barking in the background but i have received this package like yesterday basically and i took a full day to repair her and all that so you'll see you won't really see the repairing process just because i don't have time for that but you will see me unbox and all that so this is past me trying to unbox without showing my address and yeah this seller didn't really use a lot of protection at all and you'll see that it barely came with any protect protection and that made me a little worried at first but at least she's okay. So, now you're so struggle. Okay. You only know it looks protected. You know like protected. you'll just have to see for yourself. Aside from just do a know single that layer of like bubble wrap box, covered in tape and some new the outer box really with that like one design in the and the box didn't have its inside so either. So like, you know, if you look into a pull-up box, there's two sections: the outside box with the outside design, and then the inside part where it has the inside design, where the doll would usually be tied up to. That inside part isn't there. Yeah, the box is pretty dented up. It's covered in plastic wrap, and you can kind of tell who it is. Can y'all guess? Who it is. As I'm um, just like peeling away the plastic, I had smelled like kind of a very plasticky smell. I don't, I'm unsure why. Maybe it's because of the weather that we had. Because around my area, it's been having a lot of rain. And it stopped for like that day and then also the next day. And it's Polaverico! If you don't know, Polaverico is a doll based on the movie Holder Skelter and its character, Rico. So, this is me opening up the box, and if you see that very opaque plastic wrap, that's literally the shoes in there. And you can see, I opened the box, there was barely any bubble wrap except just a plastic bag in a, I mean, newspaper in a plastic bag, me shaking the box. And then. Held the doll, and you could see her arm was not really even on. Arm came off. But I was just holding up the doll, checking her out, see what's oh, no, going here. on with her, and me holding the shoes. I was gonna put her arm back, but I was like, she might need some repair. You can kind of see she's a little bit messy, but it gets even better. When I mean better, I mean like a bit worse. From there, she doesn't come with a stand card. And that was alright. I can provide the stand. So, and I, don't really need I will the card. be fixing her. I used to be someone who collects a lot of the cards. But I don't do that anymore. Just because I realize I don't look at them very often. And this next clip, it's me basically assembling her. Checking everything separately. And the I knew from the photos that the cage skirt was already broken but it was only one big section so I didn't have to fix too much as you see that middle part on the front side has broke off and then I am pointing at Ririko but I don't remember what I was saying here but her body it's stained and, oh yeah here this one I was talking about her eyelids were suspiciously chalky like it was really hard to close and move her eye mechanism so i had to check it out everything was fine i just need to give her a really good cleaning and her body was stained as you see and it was kind of floppy around the waist area so her she would move down up and down a lot her skin her body skin cone doesn't really match her face that doesn't really bother me but i do eventually switch her off to a better type 4 body because I had a spare one from 
my last video, which you saw, I put a pull up on the Obitsu body, and that for that T4 body, I would use on this Ririko. Here, I'm showing off the shoes. The shoes were a bit plain, in my opinion. I do like plain heels, but the quality of material wasn't really up to par because the heel part would bend really easily, and I'll show you that later on. And now, let's see what's next. Oh, I was showing you the half-broken cage. The rest of it didn't really broke, which is good. I didn't have to do too much repair. And let's see. Still showing off the cage skirt. And now showing you here. This is how the skirt would attach those little clips. And show, next up, it's the butterfly clip. I remember in this, at the moment, I thought that that big gem that my thumb is next to was supposed to attach to the that little part. And I think it was either that or I refound that gem and near her glove. This is how you can tell that I don't really do voiceovers a lot. I am really easily someone who can forget. So this is me showing off the glove and how... And if you ever get a Rico, only one should have that pro bracelet around. This is the skirt. And not the skirt, but the skirt bodice piece. It's a one piece, basically. And then the rest of the cage skirt and that big fluffy skirt area, like that long dress part, is all separate. As you can see me basically carrying it up. That was just a tad bit messy, so I will show you... Later on that, how like it fully together and everything like that. From the photos, I thought it was loose strings. But the more I saw, the seller already had tied the string. Basically, it was fine already. And here is an up more up close of the doll. And I was showing off the pearl necklace, which I sh don't think I needed to do. Because I do show that necklace off eventually. And... Her eyelid got stuck in that position, so I had to fix that and everything. And I'll show you how it would look after that. I was talking about her wig as well, where it's really nice quality. It's just a tad bit messy, and I do fix that soon. And I think I was talking about more on the body, but another problem I saw off camera was her back plate was kind of yellowed around the neck area. Not, like, under the levers. You know, if you have a pull-up, there's levers that help control the mechanism for the eyes. So, under that section, there was a spot of yellowed. I've had taken that problem with some hydrogen, per hydrogen peroxide. Sorry, I had cut off that voiceover. And that's because I had to recheck everything. But, yeah, it's up to standard. Okay, so... These next few parts, it's definitely varying in audio. It's still hearable, but to be honest, it's been really hard to remember what I've said. So I'm going to leave it off to the little bit of a crappy audio. A lot of it is good, so that's why I decided to keep it. Because before, not a lot of it can be heard. You can still hear this one. I'm trying to up the volume and everything. So hope you still enjoy this video. And I'll see y'all. I'll catch y'all next time. This is voice over me, off. And you hear this like little creaking. I have a box that's holding up this phone. And here is Mariko and her glory. I'll be talking about a little bit about her. This is Mariko. She's from the movie. She's based off the movie Helder Skelder. I think I'm pronouncing that right, but the lead character i believe i don't know too much about the movie itself i haven't watched the movie yet i should but i kind of hold that off until i get the stall here we go she is limited to 500 that's why you see her hard to find and if she see if you see her she's usually pretty expensive compared to some other pull-ups even rare pull-ups like uh, who should i say Yuki, like Yuki-chan, you know, the doll with the red eye that I had, that was that, those two were limited between eye variation, and those 
two I find cheaper than Mariko, and that's also because of the popularity of how popular this design was. Honestly, I get it why, and that's why that's why she was such one of my holy grails. Her design is immaculate from movie to doll form, and yeah. Sorry, my throat hurts, and yeah. I'm gonna get on with this doll. She has kind of a brown. On camera, it's brown, but in bird, and if you see it up close, it's more of a warm brown red. Like, it's still primarily brown, but it's a warm brown, and it kind of like has hints of red to it when I was washing it. Here's the back. I kind of try to make it into two, cur two singular curls, because I because from washing this wig, I can tell that it's the kind to like spread by itself. So I didn't need have to, like I don't have to just break through the curls. It's just gonna break the curls itself. And yeah, that's why I try to keep it into two curls so that it just breaks off by itself really easily. I have her on a stand. She didn't come with one. I just bought one from my pull up Sailor Uranus. And yeah. Let's get on with these butterfly clips that she has them. These butterfly clips, it's just kind of a... I think it's just... I don't know if it's metal or plastic, but it's kind of painted. Kind of like a darkish gold, and then it has these really bright amber jewels. Usually I find this one very much right here to be very dark. You can kind of see. And it's the same on both. I don't know if that's supposed to be part of her concept or not, but yeah. Next up, this pearl necklace she has. It's not a straight pearl necklace, it's kind of like clustered. And then, here you go, you can kind of see. And it has this little system right here. I tried to take it off before, but I couldn't. I had to take off. I was cleaning her head anyway, so took it off. Her old body was flimsy and stained, so this is a new body on her, for her. And zoomed out. Next up, talk. Let's talk about the, I guess, first look she can have. I call this the first look just because I don't know if it's the first look in the movie, but for me, I might display her like this, just in her little dress, just because I like it. I like the structure of this piece by itself. <coughs> Sorry, my throat. It's basically these two parts are connected together by Velcro. Well, there's one single piece, but the bodice has a Velcro on the back, so that's how you slip her in. And this part, it's very, it's very layered. I think it's either ruffle or frill, depending. But it has two different materials stacked on each other. So let me bring that closer. You kind of see you have the satinous. Satinous, satin material to this fishnet material on the bottom. And then you can kind of see it goes around and there's like little beads to create a little line. And this bodice is sleeveless because as you see those gloves, do not worry if only one has this pearl bracelet, it's supposed to be like that. So the right, I believe in the pictures, the right hand has a pearl necklace to it while the left is just a singular glove. And next up are these shoes. These shoes are some of one of the more disappointing shoes I've ever seen because these are really flimsy shoes and also they're very plain. I do like a plain pump, but they're but the little heel part are so flimsy that they bend on itself. So it was really you can kind of see it's very hard to display her trying to keep her shoes in good condition. So I might. I have this idea where I might put, like, I might put, like, red glitter on the bottom to create a better look for it, but also to give it sturdiness for the future, because I will be owning her for a while. Now, let's talk about the face-up before we go off to the rest of the outfit. She has... I have to look this up. I'm trying to hold her wing down, and she has... Very dark brown eyebrows that doesn't really match her hair, but that doesn't really bother me. And then she has this immaculate face up. 
she has these dark upper and lower eyelashes because some pull up dolls don't have drawn upper eyelid eyelashes but this one does and she still has 3d real uh false false eyelashes sorry i was trying to say fall i don't i'm not trying to say the f word i'm trying to say f-a-u-k-x f-a-u-x i don't know how people pronounce it but yeah and she has these dark brown uh eye eye chips there we go and then she has these like bright but not bright on her dress lips and then i did fix up the eye mac because i have probably stated that her eye mac her eye was really hard to use and it's better but it's still a little hard around the right eye i sometimes just press a little bit make sure nothing happens and then side to side so it works really well And then now we can get on the rest of the piece. Screw it backwards. Because this is. And this part is absolutely huge. First up, I'm trying to adjust myself, is this big skirt part. The cage do go under it, and there's hold up by these little clips. I do not know what these are called. Let me zoom it up. These little hooks or clips, whatever they're called, and that's how it comes together. This is supposed to go around her waist, like this, like that. It's supposed to go around her waist, and then it's supposed to be layered. You can kind of see it's transparent in the middle, and that's because when she's on display, this part it's going to take over, so... It's gonna look like this, and you can't really tell. Well, you can kind of tell, but not really tell that she's has a lot of transparent materials. And then, right now, I am gonna cut the camera, and I'm gonna show you in full dress now. I'll see. You and I'm back. So I'm kind of holding her by the head, just because the stand won't. I can't really get her to stand with this with the stand with the doll stand because. Of this huge dress, but you can kind of see I assembled it. Yes, the pleather kind of came off, but it was broken originally. So when I was fixing it, the pleather came off, but I was wrong with that. It would look like the front and then layer it properly from the side. And this does cut, this is very long actually. It's longer than this phone, but you can kind of see it comes in three separate pieces. You can't see. I can't see. Oh gosh. Okay. Basically, let me show you. Dun, dun, dun. And you can kind of see this piece is getting overlapped by the second piece right here. And it has, she has flowers around the dress. This is what she looks like. So, like that in the back. Here it looks like from the front. It's kind of hard to capture all her beauty at once. That's what I find a little difficult about this doll, but it's not really her fault. And she can't really be captured. Mm, there. Right, this is the best shot I have of her. But yeah, I'm very happy with her. Even though I have to have some fix up and I might do some improvements on the shoes, I'm still very happy with this doll. No wonder why she was one of my holy grails, because she really fit my taste and what I find in dolls, so yeah. And also, if you lost, if you're losing hope on to find this doll, I've been looking looking for this doll for over a year so far. Some people have looked her for years and never had basically found her. Um, I find that more and more Rico sometimes pop up in certain in random times. Sorry, I was. But I believe there's one on Japan Makari, new in box for $550, which is a lot, but that's kind of how much you would see her new in box. That's around her price. I got mine's around $400. If you join the Facebook group, a Monster Crash Facebook group, you would sometimes find deals because the, if you know, a Monster Crash on YouTube, she sold her Rico for like $200, even though it was a little bit. 
not in the best shape. It was around my shape, but she sold hers for a really good price. Mine, I wish I just like bought hers, but it's all right. I was able to handle the job. I was about to fix her up, and now she's mine. It's like, whoopee. I still don't know how to explain, display her with the skirt. And I would tell you that if I knew myself how you would display a doll with such an immaculate dress without destroying it and yeah that's all I have to say I'm not gonna show the box because the box is in pretty bad condition I just stored it no card and yeah I don't know what stand, stand she would come if I had her new in box I don't that's something we'll have to look up in other Rico um Review, doll reviews, but yeah. I think that's all for now. I'll see y'all next time. Bye!